Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play Galsiv 2. I just took a 20 minute break and now I've forgotten everything. What the hell is that? There's purple people. There's purple people. I don't know the purple people. I actually don't. The Kryn Consulate is not purple, neither the Arsons or the Drenian, so that means they're all purple people over there. You can have to look into that. Uh, right. Now, apparently we're making money. Well, that's a new thing. Uh, we... Ooh, ah, dear then. Um, hmm. Might have to look into colonising then. Because we're going to want to start snapping up some of these uh, small planets. Just to make sure nobody else gets a foothold in my cluster. This is my cluster, not theirs. Um, but for now we'll wait. Let's wait just a bit longer, just a little bit longer. And get that little bit extra... Um, uh, money, wait for the population to grow just a bit more, and then we'll go and actually do that. Where are you? Keep moving. Oh, it could be there, actually. I need to find this bleeding minor race. Make this worthless uh, trade ship. How much trade can I have? I can have five. I can have five and nothing is in range. That is just unfair. Probably something around here, but meh. Uh, oh, actually, I could check. Uh, nope, only. Let's see, one. Three systems over here are in range. Nothing over here is in range, so it has to be in this sort of cluster. Habitable. Uh, up there. Oh, wait, there's th three I'm missing. Oh god damn it, I don't understand that map at all. I'm gonna do, but I can't be bothered to take the time to actually understand it properly. So, it, it, it's my fault. It's not my fault. Why don't we build a couple of scouts? Um, let us go and design a scout. So, new. Um, no, you know what, uh, let's just... How long does it take to build the regular scout? Two weeks? Uh, let's let them build a couple of the dude. No, no, constructors, you're not alright, you know. Let me order my thoughts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now go for weapons. I think I'm going to get the very basic weapons and then um, uh, knock out some scouts with like the most basic weapons and scanners. Just just to. It, if, if nothing else, what it does is it will give me. Um, oh, excellent. It will. You can almost statistics, that's kind of useful words. It will... No, he's not even the same people. Hmm. What it would give me is um, like, the, the AI will recognise that I have a military. Right now I don't, so I, I, if I have one, they'll respect me a bit more. Particularly the Drenigan. They respect military might. What's up, dudes? Uh, the Polos. Right, yes. Traded them. 14 and 27 a week, and it'll upgrade eventually. There's a another radioactive world I'm going to want to look into colonising. Okay, uh, right, let's um, well, let's go for that then. Intellectual Governments is being researched right now. Let's give it a turn. It should end. Good. And now we can work on space weapons, which will give us the particle beam, the most basic of all weapons, which is just a little, little thing we can stick on a, a scout. Oh, hold on. Hold on a minute. That is in the... Let's see if we can pin it down. That has got to be in the furthest out. I think I can build to that. I think I can trade that far. Let's get a trotter. Let's get a trotter out and send it over there. I think we should be able to do that. If we can't, maybe we research one level of um, range, which I think should come with a statistical upgrade as opposed to a component-based upgrade. And so that should be possible. Unless it isn't. It probably isn't. And send him over there. Take a few turns. Uh, all right, there's money. Let's do. It. All right, let's do a. Let's do a round of. Uh, well, first, let's stick a, another person in there. We want to get all the spying information on them, and then we'll move on to the next one. Let's do a quick round of. Ooh, they have space weapons. A uh, quick round of trading. See if anybody has anything we would desperately want. Nothing there, so let's check the minor races. 
Uh, dog, you're first. Space defenses, you are not ready for that yet. Maybe the research treat is a bit lower. Nope. Uh, okay, so, not them. Space defenses. Space defenses and space weapons. Apparently, people are. Yep, apparently, the galaxy is starting to head towards slightly more. Uh, you, you know, slightly less friendly technology, I suppose you should. You could refer to it as uh, if you wanted to be particularly diplomatic about the whole thing. So, this is what happens you get a constructor, you put it on a starbase, and then you can upgrade it. There are two possibilities the sensor range or the mining barracks. The mining barracks gives a plus 4% to the current plus 5%, or no, it just adds plus, so it's plus 9% economics upgrade. So, I'm going to do that. Go to this. Uh, ooh, space weapons. We'll talk about this in a minute. Um. Why don't you research? Oh, that's tempting. Uh, no, I wanted to research range. Where's, where is range in all of this? It's even on here. Might not be. Um, hold on, let me see if I can find it on the list, because we might be needing a level of it soon. Here it is, life support, which would add plus 20 range, and it just requires uh, level four level one of logistics which we're gonna probably want soon anyway oh the iconian refuge yeah they're not uh, they're not a terribly unfriendly race they're not a terribly re friendly place either though however i can look at a few different things here though i don't think there's any i don't really need to do anything like that yet oh crap they've got these texts they've got toxic atmosphere and aquatic world colonization can i trade no chance, and no chance. I'm not trading all that. I'm telling you now, I'm not trading all that. But yeah, that's a problem. They've also got the theories for all three basic types of weapons. The, the, right, the, let's talk about weapons. The way weapons work is there's three types that are essentially identical. There's beams, there's uh, mass drivers, which are just rocks you throw at them, and missiles. And each of them has one counter. You have shields, you have armor, and you have um, missile uh, interference. It's just sort of things that interfere with them on the route. And for every one unit of armor against the, the and the armor only works against the one thing it counters. For every one unit of that, it removes one unit of the damage. So it's essentially just a rock paper scissors, but it's not even rock paper scissors. It's literally. Who am I going to fight? Which armor tech do I need? Which weapons tech do I need? Because which armor tech do they have? Which weapon tech do they have? And you just have to try and match like that. Personally, I tend to just go beams because I think they look cool and you can see the big fleet battles. And I like beams, they're cool. There's all sorts of race specific ones as well. And um, there's all sorts of numbers about the precise points in the game where various things become more, more or less powerful. I just like beams. I don't know. I kind of like them. I think it's also missiles are maybe heavier or something and beams are lighter. And <sighs> like I say, it doesn't make a massive difference. It isn't sort of the stars where they're all different and you can see them all firing out properly. It really doesn't massively matter. It only matters as long as... Um... Oh, have I built another trade ship by accident? I think I have. Yeah, that one's already going out. But we're going for a level of range anyway, so why doesn't this one go over... Um... That'll actually reach. Probably won't. Well, I'll take it. we'll send it up there to do a little bit of scouting and then it can go do the other thing if we have a chance. Hey, we can have the option to build uh, things like defenders. Which are just very, very basic things. I'm going to want to research my own and uh, design my own because I want to put the sensors on them. Uh, instead, let's build a constructor just for now. Actually, no, not for. No, 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 no. Let's make, let's make a ship. Let's make our first ever warship. And it's going to be a. One second. Sensors are five size. Uh, 14. So... Okay. Okay. Let's go small. Tiny is basically, I think, if you just want something to put on a, um, a planet, it's planetary defense because engines are very limited. Uh, let us build. Let's build off this. We'll probably just make it pretty much this. Maybe we'll add a little extra something. 
So the particle beam can go underneath. Let's reduce the size a bit. Yes, yeah, so there's the particle beam. Uh, we'll put. I thought I thought I made this a. Oh, I used the tiny by accident. Whoops. Hold on. Yeah, we'll change it up for that maybe or that there. there we'll build off this. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so <laughs> now I'm actually on the right one. Um, particle beam goes there. That's a massive sodding particle beam. Let's get rid of that. Just pop that little thing there. And then we go around here and put in the scent. Screw we don't need sensors. We stick an ion drive on there. There is in space. There's space for an ion drive. Well, in that case, I guess we do get sensors. So, uh, let's just stick that on top. Barely matters. And that is what we have. So, this will do one beam damage and has a sensor radius of three. It's terrible. But it shall do. It costs 10. What does a weapon cost to build? 25. <laughs> okay, um. Oh, you know what? Screw it. We don't need sensors. One sensor is not even worth the damn thing. And that's size 16. I even build that. Build it. No, build the tiny one. Build the tiny Okay, you know what? You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Want to play it like that? You want to play it like that? Fine. Just build these tiny little worthless things instead, then, shall we? Okay. Uh, this shall be the um, the Nat class. Yep, Nat class warship, a powerful, uh, <laughs> noble ship class piloted by only the most suicidal members of our race. Oh dear, and we're just going to make loads of those and flood the area with them, just to ward off the Drangin for at least five minutes. And because transports are unarmed, you know, can get rid of any of them. And it's just a little something just to ward them off and make them not think we're quite so, you know, weak and pathetic. Uh, let's also build some naps over here. Have all the social production been done over here? It almost is, just upgrading to the Xeno factory. So, good. Good. Right, move on. Should start getting the pop of the. Yeah, that we're building gnats. Um. Eventually we'll want to make sure to position a few at each of our planets, though for now uh, we launch them and then we click, I think it's W, which is auto explore, and then we just do that. There's also uh, auto attack, though of course there's nothing to attack, so it won't, I don't think it'll, yeah, it won't do anything. So we'll just leave it in auto explore. And we let them knock about for a bit. And that's that. It's not particularly complicated, it doesn't need, really need to be. Okay, definitely basic logistics, good. So we should find general life support, three weeks, and the plus 20 range. Nice, just a nice little bonus. Nothing fancy, nice little bonus. A couple more gnats, good. So we should start being respected a bit more. Um, oh, I forget where the thing that will tell us. Is it under stats? Right, we are now the, ooh, we're still the 10th most powerful miller. Oh, that's no, the crin. Where are we? How do I look at my own rankings? I don't know. Um, Sif Manager? Stats? Here we are. Uh, we are the second most powerful military. And all we have are three Nats. So now if we go over here, uh, the... Yeah, the Drengen have the strongest military. But, oh, you know, they're all actually technically strong military because nobody's particularly good. But now they respect me. What may what may we humbly do for you today, Jenna Casey? So they now uh, respect us a bit, and they may even that's three things. It's only three things for the five cent social. Not going to go for it, but it's interesting that they will now do it. Right, let's chat with the rest of them. Uh, can we muscle you into trading? Uh, war rooms. What does that give us? Ooh, ooh, this I want. Military production plus 10%, creativity plus 10%. The creativity just creates a possibility of instantly completing a tech. And they'll do it for nothing but basic logistics? Sweet. Done. That's really good. And the Kryn don't have anything. Okay. Uh, Dark Yor, you feeling up for the treaties yet? Too early. And I don't think, uh, I certainly don't think. 
If like the drain gun would do it any faster. Yeah, yeah, far too early. That will flip, we need to keep checking to make sure. Oh, there's a mining star base they have there. And it's the Thalian Tholans as well. Uh, that's a research one. That is interesting and terrifying. I'll try and make it down there. We'll get the range increase soon, so we'll be able to uh, see a bit further, do a bit more. Oh, God, the Tholans. These guys are evil bastards. Supposedly, they came back in time. The, the law behind these guys is they supposedly came back in time to kill all humans because the humans apparently destroy everything in the future. So, great. But what is great is they do have a lot of um, rather unique techs that we can then trade for, particularly right now because they, uh, they're they rather scared by us. So, planetary adaptation is plus 15% morale, remedial engineering is plus 5% research, and xenoanthropology is all sorts of things. So, logistics and diplomatic relations for that? No, no, you really want that. You are willing to trade that one, and xenoanthropology. Not space mining. So you want to do those two for... Wow. Alright, we'll do that. Space mining for maybe level one xeno research? Industrial theory? No, you really do like that. And the planetary adaptation would take, yeah, a lot to do. But, no, I'm happy with the trades we made. We have a couple of things, a little extra, you know, a few percentages, bonus here and there. Which is a nice start to our relations with the... What the hell are they called? Tholans. Tholans. Come on, Nats. Always good. Do we have the shipyard up there yet? No. Not for a, not for a little while longer. Um, I wonder if we should maybe bump up the manufacturing capital. It is a 33% industry bonus, 10% economic, so right now, no, 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 the factory's better. Oh, we have money. We have a lot of money. How much money do we have? Fair bit. Worth, I think, knocking down the tax rate. Maybe trying to make a few people happier. And we could possibly spend some money on something. I don't know what. Maybe, maybe we'll just hold off. Okay, launch ship, explore. Launch ship, explore. And over here we can uh, launch ship explore and launch ship explore. Yeah, we're going to want to we're gonna want a lot of that, and then eventually we'll try and spread them around, put some defend, at least you know these most basic of all defenders on the various things. Uh, okay, we now have even more stuff on the Drengen and general life support, which is very nice. Mm, better trade, always tempting. If we have the range, it would definitely be worth it to do that. Uh, let's go for something. Let's go for something basic. Let's go for the Xeno Entertainment. Let's go for alliances. Let's go for alliances, and then we'll build some more trade ships. Uh, see how far we can go. How far can we go? You know what? That that range did not give us much more. Well, look, maybe the how much is the next range one? Thirteen. That's plus forty. For the sake of trading, I'm going to go for that because I want to. Uh, we'll get that. Then we'll get the extra trade range. And then we'll translate that into a whole load of extra money. Hopefully. Maybe not. Well, probably not. But, you know, maybe. Uh, okay, so he's asking us if we want to put these into a fleet. We don't. As you can see, each of these counts as two units. Uh, sort of two um, two sized. And then logistics currently allows a, a fleet up to four. And then that means they can fight as one. So it, 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 It's an interesting... It was a fairly basic system, but it's kind of nice. Uh, build a space miner. We'll build a we'll build a trade draft to that. But I want I still want that one more space miner. God damn it! I've been wanting it for ages, ages. Uh, it's another gnat. Why don't we take uh, why don't we take this one and actually drop it on Octavia three? Yeah, maybe the next few will actually uh, specifically place on the various um, <coughs> some of the various places. Oh good, we have the Your Collective. I was worried we weren't going to meet enough evil people in this game. But any of the good ones got through. Am I going to have any allies? I may have screwed myself. Welcome, Earth creature. Gaze upon us, for we are the future. That's enough looking. I'll stay out of the way. Okay, um, and of course, then naturally they're already onto Scatter Blaster 1, which is the most basic uh, mass driver, but still worrying. Yeah, okay, that's going to... not going to give us colonization. Of course they wouldn't. Um, holy crap. They've already got quite a few fighters. 
Luckily, we're also building quite a few fighters, but yeah, it's not a... It's, 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 it's a little bit worrying, isn't it? Just a little bit. Only, 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 only a little bit, but... Oh, good grief, we're dead. So dead. Right, one habitable planet, we found it. Uh, no habitable planets. Good, good, good. We'll, leave the, we'll leave the world and things. Right, launch this space miner, automate it so we can do its thing. Then we want right, to have another Nat Explore. Then do this Pacific Explosion with the Trotter. So there's one more little thing there. There's still a couple more uh, star systems we need to properly explore, but... Oh, we actually can't reach over there. Will it take ten weeks to get here? Maybe. Find out soon enough. What's that? Oh, uh, the class 21 Baron World. Hopefully the Yor isn't on this side, so they won't get that. Because they start with the, the thing. He keeps trying to make me look at this gnat. Explore, damn it. Leave me alone. Ooh, there's an ascension thing right there. I could go for an early ascension victory. If I do, though, they'll murder me. I don't... I don't like Ascension Victory, I want to do Diplomatic, so I don't, and that will mean people won't want to dip, be dip, diplomatic with me. No one wants an alliance with somebody who's just going to ascend into Godhood anyway. It's not really a relevant form. Um, so yeah, let's ignore that. For now. Maybe later. If we get the chance, maybe we'll go for, if we can get like five of them at once, it would still take forever. Unless I'm remembering the amount of time it takes wrong. Probably am. Hopefully not. Okay, it's gonna be a couple more turns and maybe I'll call it. Ooh, ooh, there's an economic resource right there. And also the purple people. Which is um interesting to say the least. What is my capital building space miners? Oh, right, uh, launch that. Automate it, and then why don't you build some uh trotters? We know, build one constructor so we can go pick up that economic resource, then we'll work on the trotters. Who are the purple people? I don't recall. Oh, it's the... It's either the Yor or the Thalen. Thorland, something. Probably these ones. That is Thorland. Actually, that's... Yeah, both of those are awful for me. Both those are really bad, in fact. There's another good heavy gravity. I'd still like to pick up if I got the chance. That's a terrible, terrible Kryn one. Kryn world. But as terrible as it is, um... With three habitable planets, is there a... I can't please have inhabited one of these other ones, so I don't have to trade with a class four. Oh, I see it's just upgraded the trade range. No, it's four weeks. There's a class seven. All right, you know what that'll do. Between 14 and 33, we'll upgrade the, um... Oh, god damn it, get off there. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have waited. Okay, okay, we have to pick up now. Change to colony ships. It's gotta be done. No, it hasn't. We have to get the construct. Right, you know, you know, you know. You know. Buy a constructor. And then next turn, we work on the colony ships, and we have to pick up everything else now. We have to get them because everybody else is gonna grab them if we don't. Right, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you next time as we. Madly rushed to grab everything. Quick.